light. Did it work? Yes, it worked. Oh. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to coding live stream. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Abby. Hi, Fiona. Let's see. And I want to make some music at first, you know, just before we begin today, guys. Today's project is really, really cool. But I want to make uh, like a chill music in the background while I speak. So let me try this out. When green flag is clicked. Hi, Nicole. Um, and then I can go to sound, play sound chill until done. Okay. All right. Uh, and let's do this on. Yes, friends, welcome back to coding live streams. I'm gonna make this uh, maybe like 30 actually. Welcome back to coding live streams. And yes, we will do Kahoot later today, Nicole. Please, yes, yes. I have a special Kahoot actually waiting for you guys. Uh, Mr. Jengis here. As always, if you want to code with me, go to scratch.mit.edu and you can create with me there. Otherwise, or you can just, you know, or you can just watch. That's totally okay too. I know it's been forever, guys. Yes, I took a break. I took a few weeks of a break. Uh, how was, how was your break, everyone? You know what? I don't like this background music. Maybe I can change it to something else. There's some really cool background techno music. Yeah, let's try that. There. I like that even more. Okay, okay. Yes, friends, uh, today, this is the project that I'm creating today. Uh, it's called Catch the Dots. And I, I have this like controller thing that moves in circles. And I'm trying to catch the same color dots in the same place that I am at. Bam. Bam. So I'm working with three colors here yellow blue and red does it feel really quiet oh. so friends to to build that you can go to scratch.mit.edu and you can code with me or you can just watch you don't have to code with me at all let me delete all this stuff and please like and a subscribe everyone and in the chat fiona is saying it's it feels so quiet in here can you all say say hi to youtube in the chat yes you can totally say hi to youtube we're practically uh celebrities here uh whatever you're saying in the chat will be recorded it with this live stream so y'all can say hi to youtube okay i think those were all the regular announcements that i needed to have uh, yeah that was it 
and get started into building. All right, guys. All right. I still want some kind of music, though, maybe, huh? All right. So, friends, the first thing we need to do in this project is how you do... Uh, first thing that we need to do in this project is to paint our own sprite. So, step one. One, make your own... Ooh, let me go all the way. Make your own sprite. And you can do that by clicking on the paintbrush icon right here. Maybe make it smaller. Boom, boom. Yes, the paintbrush icon right there. And I'm clicking on that paintbrush icon. And with this uh, new thing that popped up, we can make our own sprite. So first I'll do the circle tool. I'm trying to make that controller the same controller there was for the catch the dots. And I can hold shift on my keyboard to make a perfect, perfect circle. Nice. And I'm going to center that. All right, so that's the start of my controller kind of deal. I can make a few circles actually. Make it make a like a smaller circle and put that into the middle. Yeah, that's looking more like it. And then using the bucket tool, I can do some changes here. Let's make it inside. Oh, I can't do that. Hmm. I might need to think about this a little bit more. Delete this guy. Mm -hmm. I can zoom, zoom, zoom. Maybe just make um, a circle without any fill inside. Oh. oh, okay. That would look the same, basically. Right. But I also want... Mm, I guess I can't do that. Mm. What I'm going to do then is actually make, uh, divide this into like a, like a three parts, like a pie, so that the circle has three parts in, in it. And what I can do is I can choose a color for this part maybe. Oh, I can't do that either. Huh. Let me see. Can I ungroup? Ah. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. To draw that controller is not as easy as it seems. So what I'm going to try to do instead, I think, is first, let's try this. I'll make a circle. Oops. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll make three circles, I think. And I'll do like different parts of the same circle of the three circles and combine them to make one circle. Oof, this is going to take some, some surgery here, friends. Let me see. Is there an easier way to do this? Mm -hmm. I got my circle. Nice. And I can make three more circles just like this. Actually, let me do a copy and paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Look at that. And what I can do is actually erase some parts of it. It kind of works. Hi, Fiona. Hmm. That didn't really work either. What do you all think? How can I make a circle that has three colors in it? I need a circle that has three colors. So one blue, red, and yellow, but within the same circle. Put that right there. I think friends, what I'm gonna try to do in the end is actually actually draw it in myself. I can totally do that as well. Boop, boop, boop. 20. And I can actually draw it in. 
and that will be the red part of the circle. Owen says, am I famous? Uh, maybe, but we only have uh, seven viewers so far. Oh, Nicole, I'm loving the emojis you have. There has to be a better way, though, right? There has to be a better way to do this. Let me try this again, guys. Okay. First, I make a circle. Oh, I see. What I can do is convert to bitmap, then. All right. Uh, okay, so now that I have a circle, I can actually make like an outline um, thing. I can draw some outline like this. And then like that. And then something like that. Yeah, Nicole, that's what I'm thinking. Like using the line. But then if I want to color in this part of the circle, yellow the whole circle goes yellow hmm uh, so to fix that I think a way to fix that I think is convert to bitmap and with convert to bitmap I can do that so what bitmap kind of does is it sees the image as just an image it sees the circle as just an image but when you convert to vector um, you can actually play around with that image and make different images from it so first, friends, we need to convert to bitmap, and then you can put in different colors to each of those things. Interesting. I did not notice that before. There we go. There is my circle. Looks kind of cool. Yeah, Nicole, I've been trying to use a bucket, but if you don't convert to bitmap, friends, it's not going to work. Because with the bucket tool, when it's in the vector, it makes the whole circle that color. Mm. All right, so I have a controller. I can put it into the center right here. Let's see. What I'm trying to do, friends, is... Let me move this guy around. What I'm trying to do is first, let's center it in the center of the screen. So go to X0, Y0. And next, what I'm going to try to do is control it with my arrow keys. So I can go to forever, add two ifs in here, and put the key space pressed blocks in here. So I got a left arrow pressed and a right arrow pressed. Right? Boom. There it is. Nicole, I know, that's what I've been trying to tell you. So I, I go to costumes, friends. You have to, let me put this in writing too. Huh? You have to convert to bitmap. Yes, there's a little button here that we haven't probably used before. Oh, I need to move that right, maybe. Mm. Sorry, my face was in there. Yes, you got to convert to bitmap, everyone. And once you do that, you can uh, color in with a bucket tool with different colors. Right? Yeah, this one took me a while to figure out. I would, after you do the lines with the black lines, you can convert to bitmap and then you can color in with different colors. And friends, you can choose your own colors, right? This doesn't have to be yellow, um, red, and blue. In fact, let me do the RGB here. I'm gonna make mine green, actually. Oh, first convert to bitmap and then I can make that green. A oh, darker green. I need a darker green. A more green green. There we go. Red, green, and blue. Yeah, and you can totally use your favorite, favorite colors in there. 
All right, now back to the code. So friends, in here, I'm gonna put the turn right 15 degrees and the turn left 15 degrees. So when you click on a green flag, let me know, does this work for you? I'm pressing the left arrow to make a turn left. I'm pressing the right arrow to make a turn right. That looks really cool. Yeah. So friends, I went a little bit, I did not copy the code. Yes, I went a little bit fast just now, Nicole, but no worries, let's do it all together. So first we need a green flag, boom, as usual. And then we're gonna need a go to block, yes. Go to zero and zero. Hi, Melissa. So Melissa, if you just joined in, the first step was to make this game. It's called Catch the Dots, first of all. It looks like this. You can move the circle around and catch these different kinds of dots in there. So blue goes to the blue. Oh, this is actually really, really fun. And once we build a game, we can do like different kinds of high scores as well. But the first step that we need to do is make our own sprite by clicking on this little paintbrush right here and you can draw a circle hold shift if you want to draw a perfect circle and then using the line tool make you know divide the circle up into like three parts or four I mean yeah and then convert to bitmap that's the thing that I found out today to color in those parts differently I'll need to convert to bitmap and then I can make it either red here and then a blue over here boom all right guys for the code of this circle what I'm gonna add is a forever as usual and what I want to code it is if I press the right arrow, it's going to turn to the right. If I press the left arrow, it's going to turn to the left. Right? So inside that forever, let's put two ifs. Yeah, right? Yes. I got a haircut. And friends, inside the if condition is going to be the keys that we're pressing here. Right arrow and left arrow. Nice. Mm -hmm. And if you're pressing the right arrow let's move turn this circle to the right if you're pressing the left arrow turn it to the left so friends click on the green flag after you have this code and press the left and right arrows to rotate your circle which is kind of cool boom 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 hi Fiona right and friends, as always, like and subscribe. If you like what you see so far, click on that like button. And you can also subscribe to our channel so we can create more stuff like this. And I'll add bliss. And subscribe. Bliss. All right. Oh, it doesn't work. Nicole, are you pressing the left and the right arrows on your keyboard? Hmm. 
Nava, I don't think I saw your project, but you might be able to put it into the chat. Oh, Nicole is still not working. Let's see. Nicole, did you choose, uh, did you paint a backdrop or did you paint a sprite? So first check. I think this is the first thing that I would check. Do you have a sprite? That's a, that's a bit thick. Yeah. If, if you have links, guys, that you want to show me, please send it in the chat and let me let me see. Maybe I might be able to open it up. So, Nicole, you did paint a sprite. So, you have that. And then, let's look at the code then. Yeah, Melissa, it's gonna be a cool game. Um, let's look at the code then. Do you have right arrow here and left arrow here? Really, really check the code, guys. Trash all the stuff. And Nicole, remember, you have to press the right and the left arrows on your keyboard. to make it rotate. It's better to tighten. Fiona's like, good, I didn't come here for nothing. Oh, I see. Oh, you're talking about the link doesn't work. I see. I thought you meant the project doesn't work. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Uh, next up, guys, what we need to do is paint a new sprite. And this is just going to be a circle. It's going to be a totally just a regular old circle. No need to convert the bitmap or anything. Just make sure that it's centered right there. And that's it. Boom. We got a circle. Yeah, the links might not be able to work, but you can give me the maybe the numbers of the links. You know, each scratch link has a number in it. And if you can give me that number, I might be able to find your project. All right. So what I have is a controller so far. This is a controller code. And I'm going to make the circle right here next. Yeah, Nava, maybe you were able to give me that number. All right, so these circles, these dots are what we're catching uh, with the with the controller that we have in the center. Hmm, plus, I don't know. I don't know, Fiona. Maybe somebody in the chat can help us out, though. Hmm. All right, so for the first thing I'm going to do with this dot is when green flag is clicked hide yeah that's right when green flag is clicked hide yeah and also after that i create a clone of myself but when i start as a clone then show this is a very common thing that we do for all kinds of things so like Maybe you're trying to make enemies in a game. This is the kind of code that we, we would use. Maybe you're trying to make um, like things to throw in a game. Then this is the kind of code that we would use. At, in the beginning, the original sprite hides. Or we create a clone of it. And when the clone starts, we show it. And let's make it go to a random position after that. No worries, Melissa. Oh, Nicole, you were able to give me the uh, the link number. Okay, let me try it out, Nicole. Five one five two zero 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 one. Hopefully, it works. 
Oof. Uh, are you share? Are you sure you shared the project? So remember, friends, this is the dot code. Oh, that's huge. Step two, make another sprite. Oh yeah. Let me see, maybe I got the number in there wrong. Two two one nine seven one. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on in there, but I wasn't able to find your project, Nicole. Uh, when I go to the link, it tells me this. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, Tristan. Good to see you here. Hi, Tristan. Oh yeah, no, so sorry, I've been moving around. Let me move this actually above my face. I gotta make sure that y'all can see it too, huh? Mm, or maybe I can do it like this. I can show it to you like this. Yes, that's better. Oh, now by a friend of yours joining? Awesome. Yeah, uh, Evan, if you're still here, Fiona has a message for you. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's something that you can Google Fiona and find out. Pretty good. It's a sunny day. It's a sunny day here in NYC. Right, or it was, um, and it's been kind of rainy here and there, and I can't wait to go out with my new haircut. Boom. Okay. Yes, weather report, Tristan. All right, so what I have is um, a dot that goes to a random place. Let's make this a bit smaller too, huh? Let's set, set size to maybe like 20% of this. There we go. Yeah, that's way better. You too, Tristan. Yeah, Melissa, I think we're in the same time code, um, time zone, I mean, and the sun is setting for me as well. Isn't it weird that we live in different time zones? It's as if we live in different times. All right, so what I'm trying to do here is... Uh, when I start as a clone, I can repeat until. Yes, there we go. Right? Repeat until. I'm going to put this repeat until in here so that uh, it'll keep on going towards the controller um, and, and keep on moving towards the controller until it touches the controller. And when it does, delete uh, the clone. Delete this clone. Right? Yeah. So inside the sen sensing blocks, I can find that touching. Can I delete all this stuff? Yup, there we go. Oh, guys, I think I gotta zoom out here. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can put this to the bottom or something. I don't know how to move this around, but yeah, okay. I'll keep it like that. And Sprite 1. Oh, I can change the name of my Sprite 1. I can make a controller. Nice. And in here, it'll be touching controller. Sweet. Hmm. 
<laughs> right? Hmm. Nice. Okay, so I got this dot that goes to random positions each time I click on the green flag. I should say the clone of the dot goes to random positions. Nice. And I'm gonna say point towards controller and move. Nice. And let's make this 10. Okay, okay, let's make it 10. This is gonna be cool, you guys. So, the things that, that's happening is the dot is moving to, towards the controller, but when it touches the controller, um, the clone goes away. We can make this continuous or recursive. What? Recursive code. So this means when I create a clone, uh, before it gets deleted, it creates another clone that is gonna get deleted again and again and again. So within the nature of the code itself, we're creating a loop. Code that repeats itself, I think. That's the best way to define it, maybe? <laughs> Recursive code is a big, big subject in computer science. Oh yeah, interesting, oh yeah. I actually slept a lot. I actually slept so much. So to make this recursive code, I need something like this. You see this create a clone of myself? I also need it in there. Okay, in the beginning too, I'll need an initiation of this recursive function to create a clone. And then once that seed begins, this cloning thing will happen again and again and again. Which the result turns out to be something like this. It's just dots coming towards the, the controller, and I'm just moving, boom, 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 boom. It's kind of cool. Yeah, all these things are being repeated again and again. Create a clone, go to a random position, move towards the controller, then create a clone, <laughs> and delete this clone. So we're creating a recursive code here by looping it again and again and again. It's, it's like a we're creating our own repeat block, kind of, kind of. Oh, really? All right. This is a cool piece of code, but, um, hmm. I want to change this up a little bit, maybe improve it. Let's make it slower, first of all, right? Yeah. So what happens sometimes though, this dot doesn't go to the edge of the screen. It goes to a random position, but it doesn't go to the edge of the screen. No, people are talking about when they go to sleep. So what I can do to do that actually is, hmm. I can say set y to 180. And it'll come from a random position at the top. So this is one way that we can do this. It's not the best. But it is one way. Yeah. Nice. And the next part is how can we code it so that the blue part of the circle 
when it touches the blue dot, you get a score, else you don't. So friends, I'm gonna have to, I think, really, 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 um, maybe I can do this a little bit differently. So yes, friends, there is this code right here. But what I can do is I can make another one, uh, another when I start as a clone. And to that, let's add a forever if. Yes. Okay, let me see how this looks. So I'm going to put this to the side where that was. And I think I can put this to the top like this. Huh? Is that okay? <laughs> nice. And inside sensing friends, there is a thing called color, this touching color. So I can use that condition so that we can change a score variable. First, let me see what it kind of looks like over here. Maybe I can put this guy over here. Oh, I can zoom out even more. Hmm, too much. Maybe I can do it like this. There we go. Get some more space here. Let's see. How's that look? Ooh. Melissa, you okay? Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Okay, seems like people are having Wi-Fi problems too. It's totally normal, everyone, to have Wi-Fi problems. Actually, ooh, uh, ah, of course. First, ah, first I need to see, see if it's touching the circle. Mmm. Gotcha. So maybe this isn't smart to do after all. Because, because the clone will delete before I can even check if it's touching it or not. Oh, by the way, I just got two clones. All right, so those of you who had just Wi-Fi wi issues, you didn't miss much. Um, let's add an if then else here. But first, guys, okay, okay, yeah. This is something that we can do before we get into the code. I can make a variable for score. Remember, friends, you can click on make a variable right here and name it score. This way, we can have a score variable. It'll keep track of how many times we get it right and how many times we get it wrong. Make a score. Oh. Oh. Score, yes. Variable. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, move this guy up. All right, now that I have a score variable, what I can do is add an if in here. So it's gonna to be touching controller. Repeat until, hmm. We shouldn't make this touching controller then, should we? Repeat until um, X, Y position is zero. Is there? Mm -mm. 
Mm. Yeah. This game is a lot more complicated than I thought it was gonna be. Huh. Alright, so repeat until you can make an equal sign here. And take the X position of this sprite until it is zero. And, ooh, am I overcomplicating it here? Let's see. Uh, mm, I think I'll keep that the same, guys. I think I'm overcomplicating it. Controller, yeah. Uh, Abby is offering some snacks in the chat if anybody's interested. And friends, in about three minutes, we'll have our Kahoot. And I have a special Kahoot ready for you all. Let's see. Yeah. I'm still not so happy with this because the moment it touches the controller, it's gonna create a clone, and then, ooh, I see. We can make it uh, wait one second right here. Learn I think that earlier. Yeah, we can control the amount, the usual fix, wait 0 0.1 seconds. That's right, Melissa. Right? Yeah, cool. All right, so then it'll work. Um, then I can add another when I start as a clone forever if oh wow yeah if touching the blue of the sprite That's the thing, though. If touching color... Mm, if... Let me test this out, guys. I'll have a blue color right here. Boom. That's the blue. If touching the red... Then give me, uh, you know, a negative score. Let me just try this out really, really quick. Minus one. Boom, boom, boom. work no because it stops right there yeah mm, I'm not exactly sure friends I might be able to do this in the second part of this I'm I think I have to say this is a much much bigger project than I thought it was gonna be catch the dots is a very crazy game where you have to catch different kinds of different color dots like this so i got a blue circle uh i have one circle with blue yellow and red on it and i have to catch the same colors or else i lose you know i lose a life and the high score for this was 67 my score was one i'm nowhere close to the high score high score oh how do you slow it down i figured out the way to slow it down first of all let me delete this guys Whew. the way to slow it down was making it move less fiona so down here you'll see the move one step That's big. down here you'll see the move one step it usually says 10 steps but you can change it to move one step only Part two coming next week. I promise. Promise. Boom. 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 I guess that's what I gotta say. Yeah. Part two coming next week. I promise. But for now, guys, make sure that you are saved. Because if you're not saved, oh, I'm signing too. And share your project. I'll put this project into 
into the description of this uh, live stream too. And I'll call it part one. So you can check it out uh, after this live stream is recorded. Hmm. Can we do Kahoot? Okay, let's try it out. Kahoot.com. Let me log in. I do have a Kahoot ready for you all. There we go. All right, let me hide all this stuff. I think I'll need to move my face somewhere. So you all can see the questions. Oh, nice. Yes. An 80s vibe. Uh -huh. And let me move my face over here. I'll make my face a little bit smaller too, right? I might need to do that. All right, friends, so part two of Catch the Dots will be next week. But for now, if you want to join the end of class Kahoot, you can go to kahoot.it, uh, right? www.kahoot.it and enter the pin 231-8142. Today's Kahoot is about emojis. Mm. Emoji quiz. Yes, this is a quiz and I'm testing your knowledge about how much you know about emojis. All right, Blooming Ab Abby is here. The queen is here. music okay. pink queen Ubu is here a lot of queens here today Nicole is like, the queen is me, obviously. Sub to Tristan is here. Tristan has a new channel if you want to sub to it. I don't know what he does in his channel, but uh, Tristan, I'll check it out. Uh, Magic is here, all right. Oh, he just plays games in it. Awesome. Then Tristan, I do need your help. What should be the next game? I'm running out of ideas to create in uh, Scratch. What should be the next game we create in Scratch? I know we are limited, Tristan. We are limited to 2D graphics. Yeah. Right, Melissa says I'm pink queen and you are the queen. Yeah, Tristan, let me know if you have any ideas about that too. Okay, friends, I will start in three, two, one, and zero. Yes, this is the emoji quiz, everyone. What is this emoji doing? We can build on the Among Us idea, Melissa, yeah. Laughing, yes. So it looks like it's crying, but it's actually laughing. Yeah. All right, that was fast. How about this one? What movie is this?
Oh wow, you all knew this. Yes, the Wizard of Oz. Uh, there's like a storm, it involves a shoe, and a girl, and a witch. That's all I know about that movie. All right. What does this mean? Does it mean snooze alarm? Does it mean Miss Cluck goes to bed? The Z language? Singing Zs? Snooze the alarm, that's right. Wow, you guys are doing really, really fast. Okay, this is, so far it's easy for you guys, you're saying, okay? How about this one? What country do these emojis represent? Easy, really? Japan, yes. Uh, Spring Blossom, Cherry Blossom, Mount Fiji, and Sushi. Oh wow, okay. Uh, Blooming Abbey is on fire. Magic is at number one. The Queen is at number two. Subtle Twist is number four. Pink Queen is number five. But we still have about six questions left, everyone. True or false, when someone types this emoji, it, they usually mean it's lit. Like, it's lit. It's amazing. It's wonderful. It's lit. Boom, yes, this means it's lit. Like fire. All right. How about this one? These emojis represent what book? What book do these emojis represent? The cat in the hat. That's right. Wow, everybody's getting it right. Friends, we might have time for a second Kahoot today then, because we're going so fast. Not my floor. Oh, wow. What should the second Kahoot be about? I spelled that wrong. I think we'll have time for a second Kahoot. All right, next question. What movie is this? Hmm. Maybe this one will get you guys. Nicole says Disney. Boom! I got, uh, I got some of you on this one. Yes, this is Home Alone, a really, really old movie about a kid who got stuck at home alone during Christmas. And he goes like, ah. Magic is on fire and Sub Tristan just moved up to third place. Yes, Home Alone. What does this mean? This is a common saying. Right? The early bird gets the worm. Hmm, so far we have a Minecraft and Disney and coronavirus by Tristan. Uh, I don't have a coronavirus uh, Kahoot. But maybe I should. I can't believe you guys watch a Home Alone. Oh, sorry. Uh, next country. What country do these emojis represent? There's a baguette, there's a flag, and there's like a lot of cheese.
Boom. Yeah, I thought Italy too because the flag looks like Italian flag. But that's actually French flag with the baguette and the fromage. Easy. Okay, what book series do these emojis represent? Yeah, the Italian flag has a green, not a blue. Honestly, all these European flags, they look very similar. Is it, Nicole? Huh. Oh yeah, uh, Nava, we're gonna, we're gonna do a second Kahoot. We will do a second Kahoot. What should it be about? Boom! Yes, Harry Potter. It's about a baby that has like a lightning thing. And they go to a castle. There's a wizard there and a snake as well. That's all I knew, know about this Harry Potter thing. All right, let's check out the podium for this one. So to Tristan, got third place. Second place goes to the queen. And the first place goes to Magic. Fiona, you are Magic. Lumen is fourth place and Pink Queen is fifth. Nice. Okay. Now, let me see if I can do this. I want to do another Kahoot. But this time, it's going to be about... Oh, I got some suggestions from you guys. Like... Disney and Minecraft. Oh man, let me see. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, none of them are there anymore. Oh. Let's try this one. Sorry guys, I'm gonna click on edit here. No! It's like 20 seconds. Oof. Let me see. These are the live stream cahoots. The thing is, with the live stream, there is a lag between what you see on my screen and what you get on Kahoot. So I'm going to try to pick something that at least has some wait time built into it. And I think the one with that would be, um, let me see. I might have something different. The Wizard of Oz. Hmm. No, oh, but we are out of time, you guys. I think we're not gonna have a time for a second Kahoot, but uh, that was our hour right there. Hmm, but next time, okay, Nicole, I'll get a Disney. And I also got a suggestions for Minecraft. And I think there was one more suggestion, right? Oh, coronavirus. Yeah, maybe I can do a, a Kahoot about the pandemic. But uh, friends, I'm trying to forget the pandemic and I'm trying to move on. So maybe we can do something more fun. Like, I don't know, whatever you guys want. All right, everyone, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for coming in. Bye. Bye, everyone. GG.